What is up guys, Andrew with No Excuses TV here and today we're asking the question, is the solo stove worth it? So if you don't know who Solo Stove is, they are a fire pit making company, but it's really not a fire pit that you put in the ground, it's an above ground fire pit that's made out of stainless steel and they got three sizes, they have the Ranger and then they have the, the Bonfire which is the middle one and the top end is the Yukon and so they're different sizes and you can have, use them for different reasons obviously. Um, none of them are really designed to take backpacking but you could take some of those camping with you if an area didn't have a fire pit because ultimately you want to keep that fire contained and that's what these things do a little bit around the house if you don't want to build it and pull up and, and, and dig your own fire pit at home. So I have had, so I have a solo stove, my brother has a solo stove and from talking with him about kind of like the features that it has, we come to a very similar conclusion about is it really worth the price because they are pretty expensive, they are pretty expensive. I mean the one that we're looking at today, the bonfire, is originally marked at $350 and right now I think they got $100 off but for $350 it is a, it's a metal can essentially. Now they do have it designed specifically to allow for ventilation to where it would decrete the crete. The uh, it's got holes kind of it's almost, it, don't, it almost looks like a, like a you think of a Yeti cup where it has this stainless steel drum and then it's got a bunch of holes in it and, the, and not, obviously not in the Yeti but this one, the solar stove has a holes in it and then it has a container on the outside um, basically to allow circulation and airflow in the solo stove. As a result, there is less smoke and more heat. Right? That's what their big things are pushing is like a smokeless fire. Now, as you can see, if we've gone through and started building this, until you get a hot and it's a big fire going, there is smoke. If it is burning slow and, and, and you have a hard time creating the 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 fire itself, there's going to be a lot of smoke. But once it gets going, once it gets burning pretty really well, the smoke leaves. There's no more smoke there. It's all purely just fire and flame, which is which is awesome. It's what you want. It's easier to set around because you don't have to worry about continuing to move out of the way of smoke. And it does get hot. The temperatures get super hot above that fire. But the problem that we run into, and probably the biggest thing that kind of is a drawback for me is there is not a lot of radiant heat going out this way. It's all going up out of the fire pit or out of the, the bonfire or whatever you, whatever, which one, whichever one you have. It's a lot of upward heat. Now, unless you're right up on it, it's kind of hard to feel that heat. Unless you're right beside it or above it, standing by it, it's kind of hard to feel the heat. And, and during winter, when we want to have a bonfire, when it's like, say, 40 degrees outside or something or 30 you know cold enough for a fire but not cold enough to where it's going to hurt still by the fire you have to be right up on it to get any of the heat out of it and that's what we kind of really didn't like it doesn't radiate out very far out away from it um and then another thing that the can itself gets hot too just i mean just because it's double barreled doesn't mean that's going to not get hot it's extremely hot um and then the price point like i said 350 dollars for a steel drum that creates a clean fire it's um that's where the worth it part comes into play for for me and my brothers so they have a ton of accessories but the accessories are expensive like so if i wanted a lid just to go on top of it 60 bucks just for a lid 60 dollars and if i want to get uh, like a little shield to go over it to keep the embers from popping out on me that one for the one that we have the bonfire is 150 bucks which is like half of a it's like almost as expensive as the stove itself which blows my mind that they, for a shield to be 150 and a stove to be 350 so that's I mean it's an extreme expense now does it say what they're going does it do what they're going to say pretty much yeah it's going to have a hot fire it's going to recirculate it's going to be smoke free once you get it going um, and it's going to be hot directly above it the issue we run into again is if we want to sit around it you have to be pretty close the kids have to get close so they don't want to feel any of the heat which we don't want them close to it because again the metal's hot it, it's just I think I could spend my $350 on something, some other stuff, and dig my own fire pit. Because if I dig it, now obviously, you this is takeable to a campsite. You can take these fire pits to a campsite, they're big enough, and then you don't have to worry about digging your hole or having a fire pit available, which is an awesome thing to do. If you're buying it for your home, I would just dig a fire pit and, and, and take some stone pavers and make it out yourself, to be honest, for you, the same expense. Now. Uh, if you plan on using it for tailgating or camping or, or like traveling with it and, and you don't know if you're going to have a fire pit available, yeah, I think it's, it's probably completely worth the money. Um, but for what my brother and I have been planning and have been using it for at home, it's just, it just a, it's a large expense 
um, that I feel like is unnecessary, but at the same time it does its job. So it's really up to, um, the worth it part, is it worth it? In my opinion, no. I don't think it's worth the cost for what you're getting out of it and the how, even with how expensive the accessories are. But if you are camping with it and you want it to be your campsite kind of campfire go-to, then maybe it is worth it. Maybe you're willing to shell out the $350 to get the bonfire, 250 now, um, and make it work. So, truly again, eye of the beholder. Depending on what you're using it for, um, may, it may or not, may not be worth it. So, for what I use it for and what my brother's been using it for, we don't really think that it's worth that $350 price tag or the 250 as it has now. And another thing against Solo, like they, they came through and they, it does exactly what they say it's going to do, right? It's a hot fire that recirculates. It gets smokeless when it gets hot, but it doesn't radiate enough for us, and it takes a while to get that fire going. But man, that may be our fault, so I'm not really gonna blame them. But the price, 350, for us, it's not worth it. So, if you like videos like these, we're gonna have some more worth of videos coming up. We have a new camper that we're going to be showing y'all about, talking about next week, um, and then we go away for a week, so we're gonna, I think this is gonna be another product review uh, in a few weeks, but then we're going bunch of camping destinations. We're gonna be camping a lot, we're going to Badlands on the new Tiger Moth, which you'll see next week. Um, so make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell so, for notifications so you never miss an episode, or an, a video. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's Sunday, I'm tired. We'll see you in the next one.